the next is assignment of a contract assignment means transferring you assign your asset you assign your right you assign your claim to somebody else so assignment means transferring however you can only assign your rights you can only assign your claims you cannot assign your liabilities now i'll give you an example now there was a person a who was to receive money from b so what b did was b wrote a check to a and a got the check however a had to pay money to c so what he did was he endorsed the check he endorsed the check to c now when a endorses the check to c you can say that a has transferred his right to c that is the right of encashing the check the right of getting cash from b has been transferred from a to c that means he has assigned the contract the contract was between a and b the original contract was between a and b however later he assigned the contract he endorsed the check to c now if c does not get payment from b that is let's say the check bounces the check is dishonored do you think c has a right to claim it from b or no let's see now what happened was c went to b c said look boss i have your check and it has dishonored b said i had drawn this check correct but it was favored to a it was in favor of a i don't know from where this check came to you my contract was with a so c says yes that's correct your contract was with a but a later on transferred it to me he endorsed it to me he assigned it to me so b says my contract was with a i have a right of privity of contract nobody else can come to me and say that you have not performed your contract it is only a's right however a has not come so i not pay c says you have a right over the privity of contract that's correct however i am a beneficiary in the contract a has assigned his benefit to me a has transferred the benefit to me so now i am the person who is supposed to receive the benefit i am the beneficiary so i get the right to claim it from you who do you think is right here is b's claim correct about the privity of contract or c's claim correct about the about he being the beneficiary in the contract c's claim is correct here c will win if he sues b first he gets the right to sue b second his right in the court of getting the compensation will also be upheld will also be supported by the court because even though c is not a party to the contract which was between a and b he still is a beneficiary under the contract he still is a person who is to get the benefit which the a was to get a transferred his benefit to c so now c is to get the benefit so he is a beneficiary under the contract and this is the exception to the doctrine of privity of contract wherein 
if a benefit has been assigned if a contract has been assigned to someone else he gets the right to sue the party if he does not perform his contract or does not perform his promise okay the next is beneficiary this is almost a similar point you know uh, in the earlier point we've done assignment wherein the assignee here c is the assignee and a is the assigner so assigner transfers the benefit to the assignee and assignee becomes the beneficiary so this becomes almost a repetition it's almost the same point wherein the assignee is the beneficiary so in short you have to remember that whoever is the beneficiary under the contract though he may not have entered the contract he may not be a party to the contract he gets the right to sue if the promise is not performed by any of the parties 